Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kia Simone. And listen, today I want to talk about Drea and, and, and all of her activities all across the internet. Now y'all know normally I, I don't be minding people business around this internet, but this thing just kept jumping in my face. And I said, well, well, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and put my two cent in the pot. I don't care if you can shop with it or not. But let's just get into it. You know, I feel like this whole Drea Jalen Green thing is a perfect example of when pretty privilege outweighs ugly character. So for those who don't know, the backstory is that Drea Michelle, who is a 39 year old woman who has a career of chasing rich men, is now seven months pregnant by Jalen Green, who is a 21 or 22 year old NBA player. The age difference and her character are bad enough. But what makes this even worse is she has a son that is the same age as the man that she is having a baby by. Now, the child that she has that is the same age as the man she's having a baby by is a child that she raised in neglect and dereliction because she would abandon him to chase rich men. The first I ever heard of Drea Michelle was when she left her small child, I think he was six, seven years old, something like that, in an apartment for days on end with a microwavable foods so that she could go be a groupie for, I believe it was Chris Brown. She was trying to chase all across the country child. Now it's absolutely deplorable that as a 39 year old woman, she's pregnant by a 21 year old as she is the mother to a 21 year old that she absolutely abandoned for her addiction to rich men. But the truth is this is on brand for Drea. This is how Drea gets down. It's how she's always gotten down. And for me, I feel like a lot of the outrage and the backlash is performative because Y'all know this is how Drea is. The issue is over the years, Drea's bad behavior has been rewarded. She abandons her child. She gets a role on Basketball Wives. She's a proud side chick. She gets a brand endorsement with Savage by Fenty. This is the same Drea that left her child unattended in an apartment for days to feed, clothe, and care for himself while she chased a man. This is the same Drea who took to the internet when she was annoyed that her son had the nerve to want help with homework. This is the same Drea. And rather than being shamed and shunned from society, the girl was rewarded. I'll never forget seeing her on Basketball Wives and trying to figure out why is a derelict and neglectful parent on Basketball Wives. And it was then that I realized it was the whole structure of Basketball Wives. It's where pretty privilege outweighs ugly character. We don't care who you are as a person. You look good, you good for TV, you like to chase basketball players, come on, get this contract. And once again, whatever this rinse and repeat formula is that she has, is working for her as she has secured her a check for the next 21 years. And the thing is, people will sit up here and pretend to be so outraged and offended by the things that she does and how she lives her life. But at the first sign of a partnership with your favorite brand, TV show, or basketball player, people forget everything that's gone. Oh, I mean, it's her life. Let her live her life. They're in love. I've even seen Tori Hart, Kevin Hart's ex-wife. I'm like, I, I ain't mad at her at all. So what? They got a 17 year age difference. He knew what he was doing. All right, all right, ma'am. When your son is 21 and it's a cougar running around here trying to put that salt and pepper cookie all over him, don't you say shit to us. My thing is, Drea has consistently been the girl who has a cute face with character from Fifth Hale. So why people are, oh my God. Do you know she has a baby with a 21 year old? Oh my God. Why y'all are shocked is beyond me. Chasing men has always been her favorite sport. She has always been willing to go that far or that low to get that bag. So this is a not shocking. I think what people are shocked by is her lack of shame. That she has no shame. She has no remorse. She will not go into hiding. She is out here celebrating, posting maternity pictures of her seven months pregnant with her baby girl from her baby boy. But once again, it's on brand for Drea. Drea ain't never had no damn shame. Drea went on Basketball Wives telling people, yeah, I left my child in the house. Yeah, I might be screwing your man, but ain't none of that got nothing to do with you. Why you worried about me? So for me, I ain't shocked. I mean, it's disgusting, but I'm not shocked. My side eye is on Jalen's team. My side eye is on his family, his coaches, his management. Where is your mama? Where is the guidance? You got Deion Sanders out here having whole pep rallies and press conferences, bringing groupies from the bottom of hell to come talk to these boys. Let me show y'all what y'all up against. So my question becomes, 
Who let this 21-year-old get caught up like this? I mean, it's one thing to say, oh, he in this new industry. He got this new money. He's all excited about his new life. He's a new adult. But why wouldn't somebody take him through a how to stick and not get stuck program? I don't get it. I want to know who on his team was such a yes man or had so little concern for his future that they wouldn't turn every damn thing over to stop this predator in her tracks because that's the hell she is. I don't care what nobody say. You can say, oh, he's legal. He's 21. He's grown. He knew what he was doing. This is a 39-year-old woman who has more years in the game than this man got on earth. She has been doing this longer than he has been a concept. I don't care who don't like it. This is some predatory bullshit. Even if she just couldn't help herself because it's a fine ass 21-year-old. This boy got plenty of money. Why get pregnant? Why try to trap this child with a baby? And I don't want to hear nothing about, well, he ain't no child. What you mean trap a child? That's a grown man. He's 21. That boy still got a soft spot in his brain. His brain ain't finished developing yet. He was a teenager two years ago. And he's having a baby by a woman who'll be 40 in less than a year. That's some bullshit. And I'm not against May-December age gap relationships in general because there are some beautiful, genuine, fulfilling, very loving relationships between people that have age gaps. But this ain't that. I think this is a woman who has spent years on end honing her craft of hunting successful men. And she has used all of her years of experience to pounce on this cub. And everybody around him failed him everybody around him failed to protect him from that. I don't care if you had to jump on that. I couldn't have been his mama. And I'm gonna tell you, the thing that crossed my mind is the boy's so young, maybe he don't know what Drea's reputation is. Maybe he does not know her history and what she's known for because the one thing she is most known for is being a neglectful parent. And this this who you gonna have your first child with? Now, at this point, she is pregnant. And I do hope that she continues to have a healthy pregnancy and a successful delivery. I hope that this young man is prepared to be a father in all respects of the role. And I hope she doesn't expect anything more than a check and a co-parent from a 21-year-old. But just maybe, maybe she'll take this opportunity to do a 180 and become the mother we never thought she could be. But all in all, that's my diplomatic way of saying this is some trifling, tragic bullshit. And if I was his mama, they would have her in labor and delivery to push my foot out her ass. But that's just me. That's that's just me. I ain't tell nobody else they got to feel like that. That's, that's just how I feel. And so I needed to come down here and get that off my chest. So thank you. Thank you very much for listening. And please, whatever you do, just know that you can be anything you want to be in this life. Don't be a drill. But that's it. That's all that I got no more. Thank you so much for coming down here, listening to me and letting me get this off my chest. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. And in the meantime, until next time, just like every time, I love you and I mean it. Bye.